Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, the videos I've filmed have been like a bit out of order. Um, and so this is the first time that I have done, have put eyeshadow on and had my hair straight in a couple of weeks. But um, it's not gonna seem like that to you. But um, I'm feeling good today. I got up and I did some makeup and put some eyeshadow on. I straightened my hair for the first time in ages. I put a lacy bra on um, and I'm wearing an outfit that I like and I took some nice selfies and I'm feeling good. Um, and I wanted to film because I'm in the mood to film today. Um, I hope you're all okay and hope that you're coping well in all of this. Um, this video is going to be, as you can tell, another empties video. I have just checked and I think that this is my empties number 10 so my 10th empties video i feel like i need to change the tin um because oh that just hit me in the mouth okay but this is a soap and glory tin from a christmas set like years ago um and uh yeah i when i finish an item a product if i want to talk about it then i put it in my empties if like i don't really think it's I need to talk about it or particularly want to or just throw it away so a lot of shower gel I just throw away but there might be a couple in here I don't really know um and it's overflowing and I need to film this video <laughs> so let's do it so I like to show you things and tell you what I thought of them but remember that you know my hair my skin my face is different to yours and so some things I don't like you might have liked let's start when I film these videos the ones that are on the top are things I've used really recently so I remember what I thought of them, but as this always goes, um, by the time we get to the bottom, I probably cannot remember what I thought of the things. And also on two occasions, I found a dead spider in the bottom because it's been that long. <laughs> anyway, let's hope there's no spiders in there. I'll just move it a bit further away from me just in case. Um, let's talk about these. These are the Garnier, Garnier Ultimate Blends Repairing hair food papaya and coconut shampoo and conditioner so they've got these like ultimate blends and there are different scents and i picked the one that was papaya and coconut um these are for damaged hair and honestly smelt really really nice the papaya was so strong it's they smelt gorgeous um what i will say is that with the shampoo and conditioner like co combo after my, i'd washed my hair like it felt really nice I will say that my hair seems to get greasy a lot quicker using these um, than it normally does. Like I would wash my hair and by the end of the next day um, or by the morning of day two, I would have greasy hair already. Um, and normally I'm like two or three days in before I need to start using dry shampoo. So um, if, yeah. So I guess if you're someone who washes your hair more frequently than I do, then they might be all right. Or maybe your hair doesn't really get that greasy. Um, the conditioner is really thin and watery, um, but it did its job really well. It was just really thin and watery and that kind of shocked me. I was expecting it to be really thick, um, but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't buy them again. I would maybe try other of their scents um, and ones and see what they do and what kind of hair they're for um but yeah i wouldn't buy these ones again i need to talk through these quicker if i'm going to get through them all next thing i actually put both of them in the empties tin these are by the body shop they're their berry bath blends hydrating bath foams as your bath water's running tip it in bubbles appear when you take the lid off and you smell these they smell really strong like berries they smell like a, a berry smoothie and i want to drink it. it smells so strong smells so lovely i love the smell of berries tip it in your bath the smell actually doesn't um like fill up your bathroom at all so i normally leave my bath running and then depending on what i've used i'll come back in the bathroom and i get like this overwhelming smell of the bath stuff i've used i didn't get that with these um so i didn't feel like their strong scent paid off um and also they were really thin and runny as well and i used actually quite a lot to get enough bubbles in the bath so again i loved the smell of them and they did like lovely bubbles so if i got these as a present from someone or in another advent calendar or something i'd be happy but i don't think i'd go out and spend i feel like they're like eight pounds i don't feel like I'd, I'd go out and spend that much money on them myself this is the revolution nourishing boost avocado eye cream 
Now, I am someone who has always avoided Revolution. There has only ever been one thing I've liked from Revolution and it was a mattifying, like, fixing mist. I feel like it was Revolution Pro. I don't really, I'm not clued up on Revolution. I don't understand I Heart Revolution, I Heart Makeup and Revolution Pro and all this kind of stuff. I don't get it. Um, but um, I do tend to avoid Revolution, especially as I feel like they kind of like copy other brands and stuff. But anyway, um, I bought this because it was cheap. It was a cheap eye cream and actually I really liked it. It was nice and thick. I quite liked having it in a pot rather than having to squeeze some out on my finger. Um, felt really nice and I really liked it and I would buy it again. I don't think it did, it felt like or looked like it did any kind of like brightening or attacking my bags or anything like that. I don't really have bad bags anyway. Um, but it felt really nice and seems to, to do a good enough job. Um, I ran out and I didn't have a replacement eye cream so I went a few days without using eye cream and then like my bags started to come back so actually this did do something didn't it um but yeah i really like this and then i also really like this from revolution this is the cheapest hyaluronic um spray that you can get on feel unique i think i think it is anyway it's six pounds um and i really like this it smells nice it smells quite fruity it's got pink grapefruit extract in um and it feels like it's hydrating and it feels nice and relieving after you've used like an acid on your face so yeah um i've just realized i've lied to you because there is something else from revolution i really like um, this is the Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. I really like this. It's really pale and does leave a bit of a cast. So I have been mixing this with like other powders that are um, meant to be for pale skin, but they're always like too yellow or too dark for me. And I mix it with this, but majority of the mix will be this. Um, and I really like it. And my skin doesn't look cakey with it or anything. I've definitely, definitely, definitely now, um, since buying the Laura Mercier one, um, a couple of years ago um, I have definitely become or maybe it was only last year in love with using loose powder on my face rather than pressed powder I was just finding that my room will stay matte was starting to look a bit cakey sometimes um, or if you topped up the powder it didn't really look right um, but loose powders I'm really loving so I really like that and I'll probably like always continue to buy that if they sell it there's a lot of skincare here so let's start I've got some cleansers Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, I think I will always, always, always love. It's just one of those where I seem to like have a little collection of cleansers on the go, right? And I normally have like a gel one, normally one that's got like charcoal or clay in, which is good for oily skin and for making it feel less oily and just feel really clean and stuff. Um, and then like a couple of other ones, but the Cleanse and Polish, it just it's not a gel it's not a balm it's a nice like creamy one but also just so like calming and this is one that i always like resort back to and i really like it i like it i feel like it removes your makeup really nicely i feel like it's lovely as a second cleanse as well i just really like it and i feel like it's going to be something that i always go back to there's this one which is the yes to coconut coconut oil cleansing balm i've now been through two of these the first one i used was a lot more um balmy um and like how i'd expect coconut oil to feel the second one um seemed to have like more exfoliating -y bits in um i don't know whether that was from it drying out quicker i don't really know um but i got through them in like the same length of time but the first one was more oily than the second one was i will use balms to remove my makeup um even though i have oily skin because you can always your second cleanse can be like a different texture um there was one i think it was from number seven that i think yeah i think it was it was called radiant results or something and that was too like heavy on my face and after like you've cleansed it just it didn't feel right whereas this as a balm um is really nice and um i still feel like i prefer the clinique one um but i mean this is still lovely and it's like a lot cheaper so that's a win um this emma hardy moringa light cleansing gel even though it's a gel um it still feels really thick like a balm um and almost just a bit too thick for a gel it was okay um but it wasn't a favorite of mine and i wouldn't repurchase it but again if i got given it as a present or something i'd be like oh that's amazing lovely lovely thank you but i wouldn't buy it again the ordinary squalene 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 cleanser i don't know how to say it um, let me think about this. 
this texture was really nice actually um and yeah it felt all right um i for me it was more of like a morning one because using this after using a balm was like too much if that makes sense but it was still all right but i would use this in the mornings and i really liked it and again it's a nice cheap price as well so i would buy that again um and yeah caroline hirons recommends it um it feels like it almost feels like it would be sticky but it's not i don't know if that makes sense but you squeeze it out and like it's a bit like maybe claggy claggy a bit claggy but like it's not a bad thing but yeah but still it still cleansed my face really nice and it felt nice on my skin yeah i'd say it felt like a bit like claggy um but that sounds like it's really bad it's not that bad um but it was of a texture where i, I wouldn't use it after a balm because it's like balm and then this i would just use this in the mornings but i still liked it so a nice little morning cleanse have i got any more cleansers no okay um right uh nip and fab salicylic fix tonic this is the extreme two percent one uh i got this from feel unique and it was relatively cheap i believe this actually smelled really nice um i wouldn't say it felt like it was doing a really strong like thorough job of being an acid toner um but it still to me actually did help my spots a lot i feel like all my skincare did though to be fair i would buy it again um but i do prefer using the yes to grapefruit um exfoliating acid pads um but i would still i would still use this again though um some people in reviews have said that this didn't do anything for their spots and some people said it did um i still feel like it did um, but it didn't like tingle or sting on spots or anything which i suppose that like, people say is a good thing but then it also shows that it's not really that acidic and like not really doing do you know what i mean but it's still my spot seemed to go down after i used it so it was fine but these pads feel like they're really doing something so as long as your skin isn't like really sensitive i would highly recommend these i've spoken about them loads they're like quilted pads you stick your finger in you go over your face two sides sometimes though um especially in winter my cheek like skin has been getting like quite dry um and so i've only been using these like on my t-zone basically and i've been avoiding my cheeks because i don't want them to get even like more irritated but yes there's that i really like them um some vitamin c's the nip and fab illuminate vitamin c serum fix i really like this and i feel like it's going to be something i continue and continue and continue to buy I really like the texture of this it's like a gel texture it's so nice it's nice and cooling as well and also it's got a nice fragrance to it which i know like just because it's got fragrance to it doesn't mean it's doing any good which is fair enough to be fair i'm someone i don't know enough about ingredients and that to know whether something is good enough or anything like that but i like the way this feels on my skin um another vitamin c is the amorovichka amorovichka one i don't know uh the daily vitamin c this is more like of a light cream um didn't really have a strong like citrusy smell or anything felt okay but because i have more oily skin gels feel nicer on my skin than creams do um and yeah i would actually prefer to buy the nip and fab one but again I don't know much about ingredients and someone might say actually this has got a way higher percentage of vitamin c plus it's got this so it's actually so much better for your skin do you know what i mean whereas this might have plastic and seaweed seaweed's good for you but you know what i mean just yeah but that one felt nicer <laughs> the next thing i used up was something very very small it's one of the um little samples from the feel unique pick and mix sample service i believe I think anyway and it's the wishful honey balm jelly moisturizer so the brand that huda beauty owns um and do you know what i really really liked this now i would use it at night time because it was a bit too much for me to use in the mornings during the day and stuff like that um i'd rather use like an oil-free moisturizer or a gel this felt so good it was like a hybrid between a gel and a balm it was just so nice like it felt thick to scoop out but wasn't thick as in it would leave loads of residue on your face when you're rubbing it in 
it was like thick almost like like a slime is right but it was like gel so it actually sunk in quite well however I would only use it like if I was spending the day at home or I'd use it at night because um, it was still like very like hydrating you know um, if you have dry or like combination skin or normal skin really I think you'd really really like this I still really liked it because it had that more of a gel effect rather than um, a sticky balm kind of thing you know so I did actually really like it and I would buy it again um, and use it more obviously there's only a couple of applications in here but um, I really liked the feel of it um, another moisturizer is by Nooks and it's their bio organic marine seaweed skin correcting moisturizing fluid um, I think I got this in a birch box and it's skin correcting because apparently it's meant to help with redness um, I liked the feel of this moisturizer actually it wasn't like too heavy or too thick or anything like that um, it was quite nice and felt quite light. However, it smelt a bit funky. L not like it smelt bad or like it gone off. It just smelt like how you'd expect a seaweed or algae kind of product to smell, you know? So it wasn't really the nicest smell, but I still actually quite liked it. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because the smell kind of is a bit... Mm -hmm. um, but if I received it again, like, I'd be happy um i just wouldn't want to buy it again um but yeah and it felt really nice to be fair so if you're looking for a nice lightweight moisturizer um that isn't too much like too like oh i'm super nourishing and hydrating this is nice um oh a hyaluronic acid this is uh, this is a hyaluronic acid serum by dr barbara sturm um this felt quite nice um, texture wise it was nice it was like a thicker serum it's in one of these so you automatically expect it to be like a really oily liquidy drippy thing um, but actually it was a bit thicker than that um, I will say that um, I to be honest hyaluronic acid serums have used a couple of them but I can't really tell the difference. My skin doesn't feel any different depending on which one I use at this current moment in time. Um, but, you know, we'll see as my skin ages. Um, so I would never go out of my way to go and buy a more expensive hyaluronic acid serum. Um, I'd rather stick with like relatively cheaper ones, you know? Um, but... I quite liked the texture of it that it was like a bit thicker that was quite cool I guess um we've got a couple of oils here so the first one is by Dr Botanicals and I will say that I kept this open for far too long it says 12 months and I probably kept it open for like three years um this is the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil something that you see and is very very common in beauty boxes and advent calendars um I decided that I was going to finish the last of it it smells so nice it doesn't smell like particularly strong of rose to me it just smells like something I would wear as a perfume it smells lovely um yeah and it feels nice on my face as well it almost feels like a dry oil I think or am I getting mixed up now between this and the Nooks Rose one I can't remember um <laughs> Um, but yeah, I quite liked that. Um, and then I got the Body Shop Drops of Youth Youth Concentrate. I really liked this. This would be great if you, well, it's Drops of Youth, right? If you had like aging skin, but also if you're someone who has irritated skin or dry skin, I think you'd really like this. It was like a thicker kind of oil. It felt nice and cooling. It was just lovely. And to be fair, I've tried something else. What if I tried the Drops of Youth bouncing bouncy sleeping mask that felt amazing on my skin because it's like a super thick like gel kind of moisturizer oh it's so nice at night time um i really liked this every every night that i put this on my skin felt lovely um and i would buy it again i'm just not sure i necessarily need it but it's lovely um an eye cream vitamin c brightening eye gel this is from Superdrug, i believe yes looks like this does it have a little rollerball on the end yes it does um i don't particularly remember this that much but i remember that emma latham um commented that she wanted to know what i thought of this and i remember thinking 
it's not doing anything major <laughs> so I probably wouldn't buy it again um, it was quite like a thin consistency um, which I think is good for like during the day and stuff and I, but I like to use a thicker one at night um, and I feel like if you have concerns around your eyes this isn't really going to do much I feel like this might be good if you're just getting used to like wearing eye gel and eye creams when you're like a teenager or like early 20s or something but I wouldn't buy it again because it was just too thin and just not didn't really feel like it was doing anything it didn't really look like it was doing anything but yeah so there's that um another eye cream is by Amora Vishka however you say it um this is the Illumini C there was two mil in here and I used it up over Christmas time um and this has like a yellow tinge to it and honestly really brightens up your eyes um it feels like a waste to use it at night time because it brightens your eyes up so much I would just use it in the mornings personally um and yeah I really liked it um I've got nothing else to say except it was lovely um but also very small and I wonder what the bigger packaging's like whether it comes in a tub or something but I really liked that and then we have this which is by Dr Jart is that how you say it Jart and um, this is the Ceramidin serum so I bought a set of the Ceramidin face mask serum liquid and moisturizer as well and I'm loving all of it um this is one that I used up first um I'm saving the moisturizer um but they all just feel really really nice particularly the moisturizer and the serum um and I had never used any of this before um the moisturizer I mean I'm gonna probably talk about it in empties video but just feels so nice and like it's putting a nice seal on your face I don't know if that makes sense um but I really liked the serum and I would definitely 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 buy it again and then I've just got a few things left um this face primer by Anna Sui it's a gel foundation primer looks like this it's a bit dusty it comes in a little tub um and this was like a gel um and felt really really nice I really liked using this on my face as a primer um again if you have like more oily or combination skin then you might really like this and I would love to look into this actually and see if I, where I can buy it from because I would buy it again because it felt really nice I wouldn't say it was really it wasn't like really mattifying or something which if I was going to work for the day or I was going out on a date I would use this is my routine really mattifying primer on my forehead nose and around my mouth and then a more dewy one that's got like glittery bits in or something on my cheeks that's the primer that I use because I don't want to like I am a bit now getting a bit oily here so I'm just gonna pat it down um I don't want any of that this is where my oil like seems to come out first like around my nose um I don't want to look like that on a date or throughout the day at work um but if I'm at home or something then this is nice and it felt really comfortable on my skin as well which I think is really important it just felt nice and comfortable and nice and refreshing because it was like a gel it was lovely um I've put this face mist in even though I actually will be honest I can't really tell you what I thought of it because I can't remember it's the elf makeup and mist and set um I think I don't think I've got it I think at the moment I've got the NYX one but when I was buying that I was looking at buying this again so I feel like I didn't find it too bad but also I'm not testing makeup sprays in the same way I normally would because I'm not going out for the whole day anymore I'm staying at home um and I'm literally only putting makeup on like just before my zoom so if I've got a zoom at one o'clock my makeup only went on at 12 so it doesn't have to stay on like all day anymore um so uh yeah I have nothing to say about that <laughs> um this uh mascara here the sephora outrageous extension dramatic volume and length mascara looks like this apologies it's really dirty um i can't really remember much about it it's just crusted off on me a little bit um i'm gonna be honest i can't really remember much i feel like it was really good at adding volume um as like my second mascara i normally use like a one that's a bit like thinner and lighter first um to kind of use them up and then go in with like a thicker more volumizing one that's got a lot of black pigment and i can just like coat my lashes in it um 
but yeah, I feel like I really liked this um, as a volumizing one and I probably would buy it again, but it's from Sephora. And then the last thing that I put in my empties is this little shower gel from Lush. It's called Yognog. Um, I went to Lush with uh, my cousin like before Christmas and she ended up deciding that this was her favorite scent. It literally smells like sticky toffee pudding, golden syrup sponge, caramel. It says custard on here as well. A little bit gingerbready. It just smells really, really nice. And I used up this whole small one. I also have another size that I bought in 2020. I think this is my 2019 one that I used up in 2020. Yes, I am one of those people who buys festive shower gels and then I save them in my cupboard until the next year. And when I'm getting in the festive mood, then I'll like start bringing them out. Um, <laughs> So I don't have an empty snow fairy to show you because I've still got two, you know? Um, but I really liked this. Um, and there is something about Lush shower gels. They lather up really well and they feel nice and thick. And they feel, they leave a nice scent on my body. Um, and they do really feel like a treat for my body, which I really, really like. Um, and yeah, so I really like Lush shower gels. I feel like as a formula, they're really, really nice. Um, but that is everything that was in my empties tin. It is now empty woohoo um that isn't a spider in there that is just the crusty bit of mascara that came off the mascara tube um but yeah that is everything i've used up please let me know down below if you have tried any of these things at all um and what you thought of them whether you shared the same opinion as me or not um and also let me know whether there's anything that I liked that now you're considering buying because that would be cool to know. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a few days in my next one.